hit make a track. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into Hair by Zach and Nina. Today I wanted to switch up some things with um, my tutorials, so I decided to do a blow dry segment. Um, after being a stylist behind the chair for five years now, my biggest question is is how do clients blow dry their hair. So for today, I'm going to blow dry a half, half part of her hair and then she's going to blow dry the other part. So we're going to get started and I will let you know what type of products I will be using for this blow dry and um, hopefully this will help you. What I want to do is um, definitely take a lot of the moisture out of her hair, it's really wet. I'm going to use products, I'm using L'Oreal Professional Smooth Ultimate. It's great for really coarse, thick hair. So I'm just going to put it all over her ends. This will help give it out more of a smooth finish. I'm going to use a little bit more. She has a lot of hair. And then I'm going to use the Mythic Oil from L'Oreal Professional. This will give a shine. And also will help with the blow dry. I also love to use a mousse. And this by Curl Satin by L'Oreal also. Awesome. Gives you a lot of body. And usually you want to concentrate it right at the roots. So that way you get a lot of body in the roots. And what's great about these products is that you can use a lot and it doesn't give you that real gross feel afterwards. It's really clean and you can probably do like 10 styles. So I really love L'Oreal products. So now what I'm going to do is section her hair. Definitely want some hair clips. I always love to section the hair when I'm doing my own hair. It's from the back. And I take a little part. I'm just going to take a little part. And you're gonna start from the back. And what you wanna do is always pull your hair forward when you blow when you blow dry it yourself. If you turn your brush underneath, you're obviously putting pulling the hair in the direction where you want it to go under. And when you're pulling the brush to go that way, you're pulling it down, but you're flipping it at the ends. So that's what gives it those two different colors. So now I'm going to take the other side and I am going to finish it. Whenever you're doing your blow dry, you want to section it from ear to ear because when you do it, you're going to pull it forward. So you're going to have it in front of you. But right now I'm just showing you how to do a basic blow dry and how to use the brush. So always remember you're going to section it from here, from ear to ear. And we're going to have it go from ear to ear horizontally. Okay, so now I'm going to show my model how to blow dry her own hair. She's actually going to take over the show. And we are going to just give you a basic blow dry. And 
A lot of people do it like this. I do it like this. I usually just section the hair and pull it forward. So that's what she's gonna do. Um, once again, if you want the hair to have a curl going inward, you wanna take your brush and just take the hair and make it go inward. Because you're you know, just taking it and you really want it to go underneath and give you that volume at the top and that smooth finish and that roundness at the bottom. And then you can also take it and go under and kind of give you that fair faucet look where you kind of turn it and you go on top of the hair and then you can do it under the hair. So now we're going to get for the brush and she's going to show us how to do it. You saw how she blow dried that and as she was taking and smoothing out her hair, she actually wrapped her hair while she was blow drying it. So you're going to learn with time how you get comfortable with it and that was perfect. So that way it doesn't cause you knotting your hair around the brush. You want to comb it out before you blow dry it. So make sure you just have a smooth finished start. And if you do have to go underneath, just use your hand to actually grab it and kind of pull it so you can put the hair, the brush underneath. So now we're going to continue on the other side and she is going to finish the one side, half of the side. She's going to finish and I'm going to finish the other side and then we will show you the end result. So I've completed half of her side and she's completed the other and we are now to the top section. She's going to take the dampness out of her hair and then we're going to do the round brush and then show you the finishing to work this through the end first and then you work it on to the top. It's a really nice finished look. You got it pretty straight and products do help. So this is our end result for her straight look for the blowout. Um, did you have any issues about it or how did you feel about it? I just had to get used to the brush, getting the brush, and then working it that way, and then having to switch off on the other side of the hand and decide that went very well. And with time, definitely get it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hair by Zach Lina. Do not forget to check me out on Facebook and on my Twitter. You can also check out my website at www.hairbyzachlina.com. If you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know. We'll see you next time.